I can remember the sirens, uh, the noise of the sirens waking us up. The test that the parachuters are coming in, I mean, from the planes coming down. Wow. So it was dangerous to stay in our house. A lot of people died. We are not free. So, hello. Um, Hi. What's your name? My name is Nafsika Biruka. Nafsika. Yes. How old are you, Nafsika? I'm 61. You're from Nicosia, Cyprus, yes. right? Yes. You're living here all your life? Yes. Okay. Uh, we would like to know about the Turkish occupation. That was in 1974, uh, sorry. But that time you were like 11, 12. Yeah. Okay. What do you remember of that? Yeah. As, as, you, as, you, as you did say, I was 11, 12 actually years old. Uh, I can remember the sirens, uh, the noise of the sirens waking us up. I can remember my grandmother in our kitchen through the window looking out and she was showing me the parachuters, the tests that the parachuters are coming in, I mean from the planes coming down. Wow. And Turkish. Yes. Okay. Wow. And um, I, can, I can remember my parents, we moved to another house. We went outside of Nicosia. Okay. Uh, with our uh, with my grandparents also and and we stayed to a friend's house in a village out of Nicosia okay. which it was safer because we live so close to the green line so it was dangerous to stay in our house but the green line uh, exit by that time existed a, by that time a bit yes a bit okay yes. So today, after almost 50 years of that, mm -hmm. how is the situation at the moment? Well, the, this is, we are still two parts. Okay. The Turks, they have our 30% um, nearly of our land. Um, there is a green line that divides uh, the, the the, the island and also my my city. Nicosia is the last divided uh, city of, of Europe. And uh, we can go to north, they can go, come to the south, but um, we don't, we are not free. I, I'm not a, a refugee, but the refugees, they don't, they can't go to their houses to live to their houses uh, and that is still the same for 50 years nearly 50 years but there, when you say the refugees what what do you mean the people that they left their houses and they moved to the south in the turkish area yes because okay. it wasn't safe for them to because during the during the invasion the the troops they kill they rape a lot of people die a lot of people die. We have missing, uh, still missing persons that we don't know where where they are. Really, and we don't we don't know if they are still alive. Most of, a lot of them they find their, their their remains. They find them, and and they are giving and they are making their funerals now. After fifty After years. After fifty years, now now they find their remains. But um, also a lot of women they were raped. Children, girls, little girls, and old women, they were raped. Okay. So it wasn't safe. So they, they moved to be safe from, from north to the south. So that's why uh, they don't live in their houses for 50 years. And they, don't, uh, they, they lost a lot of uh, loved ones in this war. 
it still is the same thing. I know, after 50 years. And, and those houses, uh, the Turkish are living there or they are abandoned? Yeah. They still, they are, um, the Turkish Cypriots, they are not that much, but they, they brought from Turks, from yeah. Turkey, Turks, and they live in the houses of our people. Okay, I understand. Wow. Um, one last question. Um, can you tell us your personal opinion about this? What do you think about Turkish government, about the occupation? What, how do you see this? I, I, don't hope, I don't have hope that this problem will be solved. Okay. I mean, the, the, the rightful way. Mm -hmm. The rightful way is the Turks to go mm -hmm. and the people go back to their houses, to their land, to our churches. And uh, I have a hope that maybe this would happen, but you don't think so. I don't think so. Why don't you think so? Because it is not up to us. I mean, the, the Greek Cypriots and the Turks Cypriots. It's up to the government of the Turks. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I know this is is hard for for a Greek Cypriot. I know this is hard, but thank you very much for tell us about your story and your opinion. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye.